All right, welcome to this week's word spelling thingamajigger. Well, it's our spelling words, isn't it? All right, welcome to our spelling netcast for this week. Don't forget, you need your glue stick. You need a beautiful pencil to write in. Make sure it's sharp enough so that you can write. You need your pair of scissors to cut out your words. You need a zip top bag to put your words in for tomorrow night and you need your spelling book don't forget your spelling book and you need your spelling words all right so let's get started we're going to start by cutting our words out and it looks like we got some interesting words this week i'm pretty excited about these because we're working on greek and latin words so you're going to learn a little Greek and Latin while well, you've been learning it, or you might not. I don't know. And we're going to cut these out. You'll notice that, like I always do, I will cut this out. You can cut this off a little bit if you want on the top. I don't usually do that, but today we're going to do that just for fun. Um... Then I usually cut this straight across this way. That way I can put my words up here and write all my stuff above it. Then I'll cut it straight across this way. And then I'll cut it straight across this way. And then I'll cut all three of them. All right, so what I need you to do this while we're doing this, these spelling words is as I say them and write them, I need you to say them and write them. Remember, you can always pause this video at any time, just in case you need to uh, set up the words or write it, because sometimes I move pretty fast, so make sure you use what you need and put them, uh, set them up, or pause it, or whatever the, I'm talking about. So, let's spread out all our words around so that you've got them. And that way we can write them down a little bit easier. That way we can find the words that we need. Because you shouldn't be just writing down what I'm telling you to write. You should be finding these words, looking at them, saying them. And as I put them down, you should be pay putting them down also, if you know what I mean. And I guess you do now because I just told you. So, let's do some gluing. First thing I want you to do is glue this. Now, when you glue this on, I want it up at the top of your page so that you can see it. Probably above that top line there. Do not glue your exemplars because you're going to need those tomorrow night. But I'm going to lay them across the page here because that gives us plenty of space to be able to write things down. So I'm going to write. We need some space up here because I've got some definitions we got to write up here. So we're going to start by writing hyper dash. Now remember what the dash means? Tell me. Exactly. The dash means that there's a word that goes after this, um, should I say, prefix? It is kind of a prefix, but not really. It's just actually part of the word that we're, uh, we're going to write. So we can't really call them a prefix because this makes, it's a piece of the word that changes a meaning, but there are um, not really prefixes in all these. Some of these words, they're only the word because it's there, not really a, uh, um, a, a root word. So, all right, so let's look at what we got here. We got Greek, we got Latin, and this week we actually have three Greek and one Latin. So we've got, this one's a Greek word, so we're going to put a G by that. Mega is actually a G word, which is Greek. Excellent. Super is actually a Latin word. And hyper is actually the other Greek word. So we've got three Greeks and a Latin. That's kind of cool. But we're going to learn what these three things are. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to start out with 
Um, let's start out with mega. Let's start out with mega, okay? Because that's the word that I have right here. So let's go mega phone. Mega phone. Make sure that you write it. Underline the the exemplar that we're talking about. Now, megaphone, what kind of a phone is that? What do we do with a megaphone? We usually talk through it, right? It's one of those things that looks like this. It's got a little handle on it. It's got a place right back here where you can talk into it, blah, 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 and it comes out really loud. So mega actually means great. And that doesn't mean, oh, that's a great phone. That, what that means is it's a megaphone. It makes the, the sound bigger, okay? Bigger. It, it's a bigger sound, all right? Because when we look up the word phone, the word phone actually means, um, what? What does it mean? Anybody know what it means? Sound, exactly. It means sound. So it's actually a great sound or voice. And so that's why we call them phones, because we can hear them through the phone. So that's a megaphone. All right, let's look at another one. Let's look at a mega, 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 mega. There's another one in here I want to do. Mega byte. There we go. Let's talk about a megabyte, because a megabyte is very interesting also. Because a megabyte is actually a million bytes, or a great amount of bytes. And what is a byte? A byte has to do with a computer. And one byte is a group of seven digits. Because when we talk about gigabytes, or megabytes, or a byte, we're actually talking about information that is stored on a computer in numbers. And they're actually in eight-digit codes like this. That is a byte. And so the computer reads it and says, oh, that has that many zeros. And it might have a one in here somewhere or um, one here or there. And that gives it the information that it needs to tell us what to do. That's a byte. And so a megabyte is a great amount of bytes. All right? That's pretty cool. So let's get to the next one. Let's talk about super. Let's talk about super. And this super is not going to be too hard because super, if we talk about a supermarket, supermarket, we're underlining super, and that means what kind of a market? Is it a small market? Is it a medium? It's actually a big one, but that's not what super means. It doesn't mean big. It means over or above. So it's over or above a regular market. It's bigger than, it's more than a regular market. And so when we're talking about some of you and we say you are like a superhero, then what I'm talking about or what we are all talking about, is that you are a hero, but you're above a hero. You're more than. You're over the hero. You're like a superhero. Isn't that awesome? All right, so if you're going to be a superhero, be over and above a regular hero. All right? Let's get into another one. Let's talk hyper. Hyperactive hyperactive. And so sometimes we feel a little hyperactive, which means we are what? What active? That means that we are, this actually means about the same as this, over or above active. Hyperactive is more extremely active, or it's over and above a normal active thing. So when I feel hyperactive, that means I'm feeling or I'm more hyperactive. I'm doing more things. I'm more active than normal. All right? And so when we do another word, I'm going to do one more, hyper. And I think what I'm going to do is hyperbole. 
This is an interesting hyperbole. Hyperbole. And it's actually not hyperbole per se, because when we do hyperbole, it is actually hyperbole. That's how we say it. And this is one of those words that it's not really a um, root word. This isn't a root word, but this is, and it's not a prefix. But hyperbole actually means they're statements that are not to be taken literally because they're bigger. They're over and above what would normal. So stories that people t tell that are not really true, but they're not meant to be true. Okay? So when Mr. Anderson says that he's 125 years old, that's hyperbole. That's exaggerated. I'm not 125. I'm a little bit younger than that. Not much, but a little bit. All right? So let's get into our last one, micro. And I wanted to save this one for last because I got a couple things I want to tell you about hyper or uh, about micro. So we're going to talk about microscope first. Microscope. Micro means small. All right, that is Greek for small. But what is so interesting about a microscope is that it is literally looking or targeting something very small. It's scoping out something that is small, or we're looking for something small. So that is a microscope, okay? But what I want to also show you is this wonderful thing called a microcosm. Microcosm. Because... What I think is interesting about this is this is a small cosm, C-O-S-M. What do you think, what does that sound like? Cosm, cosm, cosmic, cosmo, cosmos, or cosmic. And what does cosm mean? Then we got micro, microcosm. Cosm actually means world, and it is order. So it's order and world or universe. How interesting is that? So it's a small world or a small universe, and it's got order to it. Because the cosmos, cosmo actually comes from the Greek word cosmo, which means order or world. And so when we're talking about the world, the Greeks thought that the world was an order so it was ordered, and so uh, how do I explain this? Everything was in order. The world was in order. And so when we're talking about the cosmos or outside of the world, that is the universe that is in order. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And so there was a, a, a Russian developmental psychologist whose name was Lev Vygotsky, he said, a world is a microcosm, or a word, as in a word, microscope, is a microcosm of human experience. And so what that literally means is a word, like microscope, is a small world of human experience. Wow, that is so deep. Amazing. Not just a small part, but a small world because each word we use is so, um, it represents so much of the human experience. So it's kind of cool. All right. So what I want you to do is finish these out. I need you to write them all down, say them, look at it and see what you think each one means. We may talk about a few of these. So get them written, get them on here, say them and when you're finished, put them in your zip top bag so you can use for tomorrow nights. All right. I hope you enjoyed the little lesson today about the Greek and Latin elements. I had fun. I learned a lot. Okay. See ya.